Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we are taking a look at the Friday update and talk about if you should buy Stormworks on the sale and what is breaking Stormworks? What makes Stormworks currently suck? Let's get started. All right, so we are on a day's update page and it says upcoming Steam Summer Sale fixes and improvement updates. That's the information that we're going to get. Now in this update, they are not going to give us any a lot of information but they give us some interesting information but let's just go ahead and jump past the sale part before we talk about that and get to the meat of this update news announcement which is next week we have a new minor update planned with many fixes and some reworks including replacing some existing game content with add-on content to make the game a little bit more moddable more information on this next week with the release okay so some people are going to get excited and think moddable means mods as in smf mods as in thales mods i don't think that's what they mean i could be wrong but when it comes to geo meta it doesn't mean that usually it means mods as in xml mods i'm guessing i hope i'm wrong but when it comes to geo meta their words are a little bit around the edge of what you think you are getting and so for this case i think moddable means xml <laughs> xml is that a thing Yes, XML. So we'll see if I'm wrong, but that's what I think this means. So don't get too excited about quote moddable. All right, this part is extremely interesting. Other projects in progress is the next major update, which is looking awesome, but sadly not due for release for a few months. And some technology tests for the new game engine that we are working on. We are having a lot of fun working on all these new updates and improvements, and there is a lot for players to look forward to over the rest of the year and beyond. So I think there's something to get excited about here, but I'm not positive. Again, when it comes to Geo Meta, what they say and what you get is always slightly different than what you're expecting. So when they say some technology tests for the new game engine, does that mean a new game engine for Stormworks or a new game engine for another game? Like they did, uh, what you call it, Carrier Command 2 which has a different game engine from Stormworks, but it's also the Stormworks game engine, as you can kind of tell. But it has cool things like tides, stuff like that. But um, yeah, so what does that mean? We don't know. Is it right to get excited about it? Probably not, because what they say and what they do kind of is not what you're expecting. So we're going to just say, hopefully, talking about a new game engine for Stormworks, but... Uh, we don't know, so we'll, we'll wait and see for that. Is there plans on making a new Stormworks in a new engine? Um, I mean, I guess uh, it's like before, I would say we're not actually really working on anything uh, to any great extent right now. Uh, we would like to make a new game. Uh, you know, we don't want Stormworks to be the last game we ever make. Uh, we certainly we made Carrier Command 2, and we really enjoyed that because it was fresh code, because it was a fresh engine, because we got to uh, do a lot of stuff uh, right in ways that we, we perhaps wish we'd done them in the first place in Stormworks. I think we'd like to do a new vehicle building game. Uh, but um, I think right now our focus is still on Stormworks, and uh, we're currently talking about what a new game could be we're currently uh intending to do some prototyping uh but we're like still at the stage where we're, we're just making the tools in order to do the prototypes rather than rather than being any further along so so that is extreme that is like so early that it's not even really started yet um it's still in the discussion stages i would say uh but we there is certainly the intention there um not really any firm plans but yes we do have an intention to uh, make a new vehicle building game hopefully at some point in the future so let's jump back up woo, all the way back up to the steam summer sale is on now and that is saying that stormworks is currently 30 percent off and 20 percent off for dlc so if we hit the store page we will see that it is on sale for 17 dollars and 49 cents us dollars from 24.99 Search and destroy is broken. Last time I clicked on it. Oh, oh there it is. What? $7.99. From $9.99 to $7.99. Alright, so before I say, is this worth buying this month? Is it worth buying on the Steam summer sale? Is it summer sale? Whatever. 
let's talk about this. This is a bug slash feature that I submitted about two months ago. The pivot or the new pivot type that does not calculate physics of anything built on it. But what I did in, I think I told you about this, but I did a test with pivots and showed that if you have a pivot and you use it for guns or turrets on your ship, the pivots start killing the game engine. It, it kills the physics, the FPS. So I submitted a bug and I didn't submit anything else. And they said that there was not enough information, which is fair. So then I made the video, this video right here that I'm linking to that you can see and watch and see and watch. And it shows that the pivots are a problem. So I submitted the bug report yet again as a feature request this time about, you know, turning off the physics on a, a pivot. But I think sliders need the same thing. But uh, so I, you know, sent them to the video, showed them that the pivots bring the game to the knees. Uh, and maybe, you know, perhaps they could create a new pivot or add a box on the pivot that, uh, you know, will turn off calculations. And the idea is to not kill your physics and be able to have turrets for the weapons DLC that you paid for that kill the game because everyone's building ships and stuff like that with turrets. And as soon as you have those pivots, you know, the frames, frame rate drops. So that was the idea of behind this suggestion, this feature, this bug report, whatever you want to call it. Here is the response that I got from Geometa. Well, thanks for your request. Obviously, real-time physics require calculations and players cannot have this for free. Now, they don't mean paid-wise, cost-wise. They mean free CPU cycles. It costs CPU cycles for physics. And then they go ahead and link me to beginner's old-ass optimization page. Uh, yes, to improve the performance of your vehicles, please check out this guide. Okay, that's that's where they sent me. This is the response I got. I think this kind of sums up everything wrong with GeoMeta. Instead of saying, yes, we know pivots are a problem. Yes, we know it kills physics. We are going to be looking at that. We are looking at that. Behind the scenes, we're working to resolve this. Thank you for your input. Thank you for your, your suggestions. Yes, we know. Yes, we acknowledge. We don't get that. We get a very generic response with, which says nothing to my concern. And I think they've done this to Thales in the past as well. It's very... We do not take responsibility for the problems the game has. And the other indicator of this was that after three years, I think, they finally fixed desync. And Deltar said in his Q&A, it's been broken for a long time. We just realized that it was broken and we fixed it. You just realized it was broke. You realized that desync was broken after three years of people spamming fix desync. You realized it was an issue, that there was a problem, you found code you left in there that was broken. But now the pivots and the sliders are kind of a problem that we all, you know, acknowledge are a problem. We've known that sub bodies are a problem, but now I think it's pretty clear that pivots and sliders that have loads are the problem. Is it like, again, you can put a pivot on a boat with no load and it's not going to impact your frame rate. You put a pivot with a turret on top and your frame rate for the FPS starts dropping for the physics. Uh, FPS starts dropping. So we know that's a problem. Uh, will this be acknowledged in this quote new game engine they're working on? I don't know. Uh, are they ever going to acknowledge it like three years from now? <laughs> Where they go, oh, we, we realized there was a problem with pivots and we we fixed it. We fixed the code so it doesn't, you know, calculate the load mass wrong, the body wrong, whatever. But when we go back to is Stormworks worth buying in the summer sale? The answer is always going to be the same for me for now. If you enjoy building, you should probably buy Stormer. If you want to screw around with weapons and shoot, you know, at things, you should probably buy the weapons DLC. If you want to play multiplayer and have the experience that you see in the first part of my videos where you're rescuing people and things are fun, and exciting, and you're shooting things, no. You don't buy Stormworks for multiplayer right now because you're going to run into frustration and you paid money for it. You don't buy DLC weapons to shoot your friends down because multiplayer still has issues and you're going to run into frustration that you paid money for a base game and a DLC that is half done. And that is the truth. So should you buy Stormworks? You like building? You want to play by yourself maybe? Yeah, buy Stormworks. Multiplayer? 
All right, so that is it for today. I just wanted to go ahead and put this video out to make sure that you know that there are some possibly exciting things coming in the future for Stormworks, but don't get too excited until you see what their words translate into. So <laughs> that is it for today. If you haven't done so already, click the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time.